will probably live like this. I need energy to get this done. They're so good. Here's the thing. I feel like I've hit a wall with my style. Some of the things that I have just don't have the right fit. There are clothes in there that I haven't seen the whole year. I hope this is a very successful closet clean out. I do want to get rid of a good amount of stuff. There are things in here that I haven't really worn in the last three years. My style is also kind of changing. We're gonna start with this part. Welcome to my coloring rack. We're gonna go drift. This drifted Victoria's Secret slip on dress. Such a classic and it's so cute. I love this color. I have this branded skirt that I love. Not getting rid of it. The amount of outfits you can make with a really good white maxi skirt are infinite. Baby yellow flower dress. This was ahead of its time. It was ahead of its time. So cute. Loving. Beige is not the best color in me. I feel like it really washes me out. I think I'm gonna try it on and we'll see. This color is not my friend, but it's a basic. It's a basic. I'm keeping it. This basic Zara vest, a classic. This Rolling Stones t shirt. I love it. Another Zara vest. It's a little big on me, but I usually wear it to layer things during the fall. So we're keeping it as well. I love a halter top, but I just can't get it on with this one. But the color is cute. I don't know. We're gonna think about it. I've been on the fence about this for a year and a half, but I don't think it's time to get rid of it yet. I got this one this year. I love this details in here. Love this. My 21st birthday dress. Still obsessed with it. So cute. Nasty white t-shirt has armpit stains. I struggle so much with white shirts. They always end up being stained and I have to throw them away after a year of use. I'm obsessed with this. I love turning this into a t-shirt or a very cute hair accessory love this another thrifted victoria's secret slip on a basic red top i'm gonna put it on the maybe pile She's safe this year. I love the little crotchet strawberries. Two classics. Lately, I've been so much more into normal t-shirts. Classic white linen cover-up. Keeping this. I'm so attached to Italy. More so than the blocade aesthetic. I'm not really into it. I just, I love my Italy shirt. I'm obsessed with this. But Italy, Italian, Italian culture, Italian food. So good. Another classic white dress. Kind of turning yellow, which really sucks. A classic. I'm never getting rid of this. I'm gonna be taking you to that part of the closet. I have things that I don't really wear a lot over there. Welcome to this part of my closet. We're gonna be cleaning this far out. I have a lot of clothes in here that I don't think made me feel my best. Whenever I wear them, I just don't feel the most confident. And at the end of the day, why would you want to keep things that don't make you feel your best? And this actually applies to clothes and it applies to everything else in your life. If there's something or someone who's not making you feel your best, you should be kicking them out. Out of your closet and out of your life. Here's the first thing that I'm getting rid of. I have this long white dress. I have no idea what I bought this when I was 20. It's very much obviously kind of big on me. This thing. I'm not sure how I feel about this vest it's so pretty but it just doesn't fit the right way and it's also getting kind of yellow i think it's time that i say goodbye to this i don't like how my face looks when i wear this color this is not working out this has got to go i think i've had this since i was in high school this is one of the few things that have persevered this is cute but i don't really know what to pair this up with should i keep this for when skinny jeans come back around it just looks wrong if i'm wearing a wrap you can see it and if i'm not you can see it as well it doesn't work with any pair of pants that I have? No, no, no. I think it's time I get rid of this. I keep telling myself I'm gonna wear it and then I don't wear it. Also, why did 17 year old me bought this shirt? It was a little grown up for me at the time. I was wearing this to school. Do you see how much cleavage this has? I'm pretty sure people were seeing my bra <laughs> through this. I think it's going away. I think I've only worn this to the gym, but I think I'm keeping it. Another graphic shirt. Cute. I got this H&M top in 2021. It's one of those pieces that I became obsessed with and I was wearing every single day, but I don't really see any purpose in wearing this anymore. Also, it's giving Chin 2020. I'm gonna keep this to sleep, I think, but I'm not wearing it out anymore. I have this very long mango shirt. I keep saving this with the excuse that I'm gonna layer this up, but it's just too big and I think the times that I've tried to layer this, it doesn't work. Love me a good turtleneck, but this is too big. This is not working. I'm gonna put it up for sale and if someone buys it, that's cool and if they don't, then I'm just gonna keep it. This are uh, best. The times where I've worn this, I just don't think it looks the best on me. It's just not working anymore. I hate that you can kind of see the bra in here. That's not cute. That's never cute. I think she's sleeping. I don't even listen to the Beatles. I think I bought it because it was on sale. I think I'm keeping it because I can wear it to the gym. So, but I ended because I jabbed too much. And now we're gonna finish this video. It's gonna take me the whole day. Let's continue. I have this butter yellow shirt that I think it's ah, that I think it's so cute. I don't think I'm getting rid of this. Another butter yellow Sara shirt. I think it's my favorite color in the whole entire world. But it's kind of very princess like. I never find the right place to use it. And I also feel like it's very customy. Whenever I wear it, I feel like I'm dressing up as a character as opposed to as 
getting dressed perhaps i should take it as a sign that i wanted to get rid of this in my last closet cleanup and it's on the maybe pile again so maybe maybe that means i i need to get rid of it maybe i should have never bought it in the first place i actually think i'm keeping this i feel like this could be good to layer and have fun with fashion it's also thrifted so i don't get rid of a lot of thrifted stuff because i feel like it's very unique it's hard to find it again this is living this is going away i do wonder if i could maybe use this to go to the gym maybe this is not the most intelligent thing to wear at the gym this is not working out for me not even in a gym setting would i wear this she's sleeping this i haven't worn in forever it's cropped which just doesn't work with my style anymore i have a very wide big rib cage and i keep telling myself that it's gonna go away but it's not it's not ever gonna go away so this just doesn't work with my body it just doesn't work the color is cute i don't know i don't know what to do i'm keeping this because i like the color i bought this because it was on sale this is something that i've worked on i've managed to get over that but in the past i used to think that i needed something just because it was on sale and it was very cheap now i've kind of understood that that's very stupid if it's not my style it's never gonna be my style i think i also bought it because i thought it was very harry styles circa 2017 i think or fine line is it tall is it it doesn't look that bad i think i'm gonna keep it for a while this is an interesting piece my sister got rid of this so many years ago and i was going through our boxes of things that we don't use anymore things that i'm selling i actually think i'm gonna make a video about that i have a lot of clothes from the very early 20s and even from my teenage years that i haven't been able to get rid of i think it would be fun to try them again so we can see the past trends but anyways this is one of the things that was in there i grabbed it because it's red and i've been wearing a lot of red lately but who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? She's leaving. What was I thinking putting this back in my wardrobe? No, no. This, this. This was a classic in my very early 20s. I haven't worn it in a while. My sister keeps telling me to not get rid of it because she thinks I might wear it again in the future. But will i i don't know i'm attached to this piece so i don't think i'm gonna get rid of it in this closet clean out this is a fun dress that used to be my mom's i keep saving it because i keep telling myself i might wear it one day because i feel like it's very unique i've never seen this in anyone else it's very cute i have this dress that i haven't worn since i was 19 it's given alison hightower i've been watching game of thrones well not game of thrones house of the dragon so good i like it i wear this around the house it's very comfy i actually need to wash this haven't worn this in so long i don't really wear body suits anymore I think I'm keeping it because I like the color. It looks good. But if I don't wear it this year, she's living. A basic in my wardrobe and in my life. Party monkeys, I love you. This is fake merch. Straight out of 2014 or 15. I don't even know. I feel big team to the Urban Outfitters corset trend. I'm not getting rid of it because I've never been able to wear it. I really like it. I think it's cute. I know it's not trending anymore. I would not wear this outside of my house, but it's one of those pieces that I just, I don't want to get rid of. Even though I know a lot of you will cringe at it. Staying in my wardrobe. This satin black top. I feel like this was a trend a couple years ago. I don't know. Just living. This is not working. I got this from a small store back in Rome. It says Estikasi. Don't care. I'm obsessed but I haven't worn it a lot this year but I love it so much come on the detail in the back so cute this is the logo from the store how cool is that such a sick piece a comfy white dress white am I fucking blind two black turtlenecks I love them I love my turtlenecks I have this black top that I only ever used once I don't know I have to think about it too we're gonna be trying it on 2021 cold he wants his shirt back I feel so conflicted right now I think I'm into it again I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna see if I wear it this year and if I don't then it's leaving next time this was my grandma's I love this piece so much it's my baby it's falling apart but sometimes the best clothes look beat up especially when it comes to leather jackets i've never worn this before either but i think i will someday i love this my black coat i'm obsessed with winter clothes so i usually don't purge any of that my winter wardrobe is very carefully curated so much more than my summer wardrobe i don't go through trends as much in winter i thrifted this back in barcelona and i've worn it so much ever since it's so fuzzy from the inside it's one of my little treasure finds i'm obsessed with this this actually reminds me a lot of my dad he has a very similar coat to this the only thing that i don't like is is that the pockets are fake i hate when sarah does that their quality has gone down so much during the past couple of years i've been thinking about getting rid of this as well but i don't think i will i wore this for my 19th birthday i think this is something that one carlson would have worn back in 2017 i'm not getting rid of this another one of my favorite trip finds ever i'm obsessed with this this is so cool i got this back in fall 2022 when burgundy started trending i started feeling like i needed one of this i love how red looks on brunettes if you're a brunette red looks very good enough it really does i love 
love this one as well the only thing that i don't like is that it's not easy to travel with this it's very thick so it's hard to put it on my luggage i'm japan again this has been with me for the past 15 years or so Oh my god i don't love how baby pink looks on me but somehow this coat makes it work so trip to this back in florence such a unique amazing piece i'm obsessed if there's a piece in my wardrobe that is so me is this piece this is another one of my favorite pieces i think it's leopard i used to think it was a cheetah coat so stupid now i know the difference i know the difference between leopard cheetah and jaguar this is leopard 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 i keep calling it leopard i know it's leopard i wore it back in rome i felt very very rock star it fulfilled my dream of being a rock star girlfriend that's what i dreamt of when i was 22 maybe i still do i think i got this when i was 12 i still think it's cute very 2010s i might wear it this time around having a cluttered war room with things you don't really wear gives off a bad sign to the universe if it's cluttered in here it's also cluttered in here i need to have an organized space to function the best notice how i keep getting rid of all my summer clothes and i stay with all of my winter clothes if i keep going like this i'm gonna end up not having anything to wear during the summer let's move on to the next part this part this part is a mess and i'm not excited about this i'm not probably gonna get rid of a good chunk of clothing that's in here what is this box doing in here whenever i don't know what to do the things that are laying in my room this is where they go this is where they go i have my favorite pasta sauce you only bring this here during the winter so i usually stock up for the year a faisal shirt straight up from 2014 i'm an og tumblr girl i was raised on that i have beef with this shirt i got this a year ago this is just not my style i've also been avoiding wearing white i don't know why i just don't feel like white is working for me this past year it's just not a color that i've been attracted to so it's just living vintage pink floyd t-shirt never gonna get rid of it either i wear it around the house okay one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe this beige leather skirt i love it so much it's a little oversized which just seals the deal for me okay listen i've been beefing with my jeans i've been feeling like getting rid of all of them nothing seems to be working every style that i have doesn't work with the tops that i own most of them make me feel uncomfortable i don't feel the most comfortable when I wear these jeans. I don't know if it's the fit. I don't know if it's the times. I'm hating all of them. This is one of the reasons why I'm doing this video. I am on the search for the perfect pair of jeans. Haven't found it yet. I'm gonna be trying them on. I changed my shirt because this is kind of more of my style right now. This is what I've been wearing. This is what they need to work with. These ones are the ones that I like the most. These ones are not the problem. This is what I meant. They are so high-waisted, which is not something that I use anymore. I totally fell into the marketing of high-waisted things, only to then realize high-waisted is not where it looks best with my body and more of a mid-waist low waist type of girl this is also balloon fit which i'm not obsessed with now okay i think i'm keeping this one just because i can't get rid of all of them they're straight fit which is what i've been looking for as of late the only thing that i don't love is that they're high waisted i'm gonna give them a chance i haven't worn this in a while but i feel like skinnier jeans are kind of that they're coming back these are kind of skinny kind of flared i didn't like them that much when i got them i don't know why i bought this these ones are leaving i'm not obsessed with them i also feel like they're not long enough yeah no no these are huge they're so big on me not really my thing anymore i feel like this is not my vibe they're so high-waisted as well which is not something that i go for they're leaving oh god these are awful no i'm getting ptsd from 2020 no Okay, so I'm staying with three. I'm getting rid of four, which is a big thing for me. I usually don't get rid of jeans this time. They're not making the cut. Also, how real is outfit blindness? I look at things that I used to wear during 2020 and I cringe so bad. I love this pair of pants. Thrifted them very recently. I'm all for a low cut right now. I think that's what looks best on me. These brandy cargo pants are such good quality. I love them so much. Even if they are not trending, they're my babies. I have this black low waist flared pants. I'm obsessed. I love them. This is a pizza. I don't know why it's in my closet again. I keep getting rid of this and then it somehow finds its way back to my closet They're so high-waisted Also the pink What was I thinking? This is not even my style I've tried to sell this before Pink pants are hard to sell I love this ones They're Cherokee and I've had them since I was a kid Obsessed with them Keeping them I have my black skinny jeans Never getting rid of them I got this brown leather pants from Zara These are not my style And they're very high-waisted Never worn this I hate the color They're leaving Another top Another top Another one This is taking me all day Let's hurry this up I'm getting tired Okay this I'm keeping keeping this green flared pants I feel like I'm gonna regret getting this in like two years but for now I love them so we're keeping them these are mom shirts and whenever I wear them I feel horrible I'm not gonna wear them anymore this belt is falling apart what is this doing here 
in here. I thought I got rid of this. These pants made me feel awful getting rid of them. These are stained too. They're also not fussy. I hate when pants aren't fussy. Both of these are stained. Stained clothing needs to go. We need to make space for new things around here. This is a sheen skirt that doesn't fit. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this. I love this strapless stuff. This color. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And disgusting whenever I wear this even to be in the house. I feel horrible about myself I don't even want to sleep in this. She's getting big exciting 2020 cold why were this a thing? I'm gonna try selling this toothbrush A collection of lighters in here just girly things. I love being a girl Okay, this part is done. We're gonna move on to those ones. Selling this, it makes me feel kind of uncomfortable. It's 6 p.m. now. We have to hurry this up. I think I've gotten rid of a really good amount of stuff. More things that I thought I was gonna get rid of. So I'm very happy about that. I think it was a good day to do a closet cleanup. We are onto sweaters. I'm gonna roll here. We're in a roll. I hope I don't regret cleaning all my closet. It'll be three months from now. I'm gonna be asleep and I'm gonna be like, that sweater. I shouldn't have gotten rid of that sweater. But it's okay. We're opening space for new things. I think I'm getting rid of this sweater too. It's so basic, but at the same time, whenever I wear this, I just don't love it. I think it's the fabric. The fabric is just not convincing enough. It's an interesting fabric. This sweater is actually new. I keep telling myself I'm gonna wear it and then I never end up doing it. But I think it's cute. I think I'm gonna keep it. I'll eventually find when to wear it. Here's the thing when it comes to sweaters. It's kind of hard because it never really gets cold in here. So I can't apply the I haven't worn it in a year law. That I apply to my summer clothing because I obviously haven't worn it because it just never gets cold. The reason why I have too many sweaters is because I used to live in a place where it was a little colder. I'm getting rid of this one too. Quality is not great. She's living too. It's too chunky for my taste. I can't put this in a suitcase because it's so thick. I don't know. I'm gonna think about this one. This has got to be my favorite piece in my wardrobe. David Bowie flare pants. If you've been around for a while, you've seen this before. One of my favorite trip finds ever. So cute. These are so sick. <laughs> This is how it's looking. I don't think it's that bad. The last pony part. I have clothes in all of these drawers. We're gonna go through the first drawer. This is living by Elastic's Fox on this. I think my grandma can fix it. Bye. I never wore this. I don't know why I bought this. This is from Airy. I might sell this. This is leaving too. I always wear the same thing to the gym. I know it's time to go, but I just never seem to pick them up. To the pajama drawer. I always wear the same PJs. They're disgusting, but they're comfortable. Elastics in this doesn't work anymore, so. I still have to go through my bookshelf because I want to get rid of some books. I knew it was a good closet clean out because I can't even walk through my room right now. It's about to be nighttime also. Whole day doing this. Kind of feel like I'm starting a new chapter in my life. These are books that I probably enjoyed, but I'm never gonna reread. Books here also get yellow very fast because of humidity, so there's no point in me keeping them. It is my dream to have a very big library one day, but these books are gonna be so yellow by the time I get there, so they're leaving now. There's no point in having them anymore. Oh my god, I've never read this. Oh, there's a lot of dust in here. I think I'm selling my Percy Jackson books. I don't think I'll ever read them again. I just don't know where the second one is. The Young Honeymooners. Never gonna read it again. The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. This book was so boring. I don't even know how I finished it. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Also gonna get rid of that. One of Us is Lying. The Simple Wild. Getting rid of all of this, which is crazy. I think that's it, guys. I'm gonna be picking everything up. Not excited about that. My room's a mess. I don't even know where to start. Oh, not excited about this. Not excited at all. Oh, here's the second book. Okay, so this is everything I got rid of. I'm selling all of this. I'm donating all of that. I also got rid of a lot of books. This was so successful. I think if I had more time and more energy, I could have gotten rid of so much more. Also, how pretty does the sky look? I'm so tired and so sweaty. I have to sit. Thank you guys for watching. I have to clean up. I love you and I hope to see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.